So if you've clicked on this video and you're contemplating whether to go on student exchange in uni, I'm going to try to convince you in this video. First, I wanted to share my experience going on student exchange in 2019, so before COVID hit. My home school was the University of Sydney and I went on a summer exchange program to King's College London for three weeks and even though it was a short time of three weeks, I still look back on that experience so fondly and I wish I could re-experience it again because it was literally the best time of my life. Hands down the best part of my entire uni degree. At King's College London, I studied this unit called 100 Years of Children's Literature and it basically just went through different fairy tales and propaganda pieces on different types of children's literature and how it impacted the society or the masses at the time and I found that incredibly interesting. Usually my degree was a Bachelor of Applied Science in Occupational Therapy. Because of that degree, a lot of my subjects, basically all of my subjects, were health science related, occupational therapy related, which you know, was fine, it was adding to my career and I did obviously have an interest in it, that's why I chose that degree but I inside have always had this love for English and writing and literature and I was missing that in my degree. Luckily, in my degree I had electives where I could choose any type of subject that I wanted to do. They did push obviously science and health subjects on us, except I was like, mm, I want to do something different. And originally I was thinking about doing a whole semester of exchange, but I couldn't really do that unless I wanted to extend my degree because I would have to repeat some courses that weren't running when I would come back. So I didn't really want to extend my degree by a whole year because I wanted to graduate and start working as soon as possible. So I talked to my course coordinator and they're like, oh yeah, that's the only option. You have to stay back a year. And I was like, absolutely not. I'm not doing that. So I did my own research on short term summer exchange programs that I could do during the uni break and I found this one in London and it was the perfect match for me because I would go away to London and then I also after that student exchange program had my first big trip in Europe where I went traveling for two three weeks and went to different countries in Europe so that was really fun if you're going in exchange if you have more time in the holidays you can just book another trip afterwards and keep traveling especially if you go into Europe and a place like London where you can travel so easily to all the other European countries that was definitely a good choice and I ended up booking a Kentucky tour with my cousin so my cousins came to London to join me and we went on a Kentucky tour and we went to like France, Italy, Germany, Amsterdam we went to so many places and it was all smushed in a short period of time which I really liked because it gave me a taster of all the different countries in Europe so that when I would come back I would kind of know what I liked and it was the first time that we had ever traveled to Europe so we wanted to go on a tour. That's another good thing about exchange is you can explore new places that you probably wouldn't go on yourself as a solo traveler. You can invite friends if you want to after you finish your studies to join you or to join you for a short time. You're literally exploring a new way of life and living in that place for an extended period of time which is really nice. Even though I stayed in London for only three weeks for my exchange, I did get into a bit of a routine of cooking in the common kitchen, making friends with people in my unit. Let me tell you right now, the two friends that I did make on this trip, I am still best friends with them today. They also were attending University of Sydney. They went on this exchange program as well. We talk every day to this day. So that friendship is honestly one of the main reasons why I loved and still cherish this exchange experience because without going on that I would have never met them because even though they lived in Sydney they lived in 
way different areas to me and I would have never spoken to them or talked to them or got to know them and now we are such good friends we go on all little road trips together we went to New Caledonia earlier this year on a cruise so you never know if you go on exchange you can meet your best friends for life because these friends are definitely staying in my life so that's another reason why I would really recommend it is you will meet Maybe you won't meet your best friends for life, but you will meet really amazing and cool people because outside of that friend group, I also met all these cool people through the Summer Exchange program. And it was really cool to interact with people from different parts of the world as well. With this course, I also did a essay and creative writing for it, which I really enjoyed because another good thing about exchange for me specifically was that because I was doing a subject that was completely different to my normal units of study in Sydney, I had a bit of a break from the science and health subjects and I was able to go back to one of my interests which was English and writing and literature and also it made me more invigorated to go back to health once I came back to Sydney and it gave me a creative outlet that wasn't related to my normal degree. I ended up getting a really good mark. I think I got a distinction mark <laughs> for my assessments which was really validating for me because I hadn't done English and literature subjects since high school. When I was at King's College London I decided to stay at this student accommodation which was definitely a good choice in my opinion even though it was quite expensive. I stayed in a building and then my friends were literally in the same building as me so we caught up every day, we ate lunch and dinner every single day in our common kitchen. We had deep, meaningful chats and trauma bonding moments in that common area kitchen. And I'll show you a clip of what my room looked like, but it was really, really good. It had a double bed, it had a desk for me to sit at, it had my own bathroom, which was amazing because I don't like shared bathrooms. This is my room at the college, at King's College. That's the front door. Here we've got my own bathroom, which is so nice. I've got a sink. Hello, everybody. Um, a toilet, very necessary. A shower, also very necessary. Towel rack. And then I've got some hooks. Got a closet and my beautiful bed that I'll be sleeping on. Got a bedside table, got some drawers here that I can use, bookshelf, got some PowerPoint plugs, my window, this is my view. Hope you enjoyed 2019 me giving you a tour of my room but this was the common room kitchen that all of the deep and meaningful chats occurred in they also had cleaners that would come in a couple times a week to clean the room for you so that was really really good they also gave us like a food voucher to use for the school cafeteria and that was just included in our package. I remember me and my friends would just like eat brownies and cookies every single morning and we'd have a hot chocolate and a mocha. We just would go on our little walks at the start of the day to go to class in the morning and we would cross the London Bridge and have a three hour class and then we would have lunch and then we would go and explore London. Because I went in the summer, the weather was great as well. This was the walk across the London Bridge and over the River Thames. It was just so nice and relaxing and I loved that we got to see sunlight at the beginning of our day and got a little bit of exercise in as well before we started our class for the day. It gave the experience of actually living in London rather than just visiting London, which I really, really liked because we had a bit of a routine there. I would also really recommend it if you were thinking of maybe working overseas because it does give that taster of living away from your home country or your home city and you get to explore the area a little bit. Even if you don't want to 
work in that specific city you could just experience what it is like to live and work in another area but if you do want to work in London for example which I was considering for a time then I know what it was like I would really recommend you to go because you are only in uni for three four five years or however long your degree is and you probably won't go back to uni again unless you do a postgrad but I guess that's kind of a different stage in your life and uni when you're in your 20s you're young and you're free and you have all these opportunities and nothing to hold you back it's the perfect time to go and explore especially when you're just a young adult and you haven't seen much of the world you can gain your independence for a little bit and it's just a once in a lifetime opportunity. If you're Australian and you're thinking about going on exchange, the government also gives us a loan. So I think I got about $6,000 that was added onto my HEX loan that I could use to fund my travels, which was really, really helpful because even though it is a loan, it's still on a HEX debt. So there's no interest that's charged on it. It's just indexation, which indexation has been going crazy the past couple of years but that's another story but that was really cool because I literally got like free money to go in my head I was like that's just future Amanda's problem to deal with with paying that loan back and it's fine because my hex debt is literally just taken out of my paycheck now and I don't even see that money so it doesn't really affect me the experience of going on exchange and making those memories and having those experiences definitely outweigh the monetary stress of paying back the loan. So you basically can get a free trip essentially because $6,000 is a lot. This is not financial advice so please don't take it as that but that's just my experience. I will link the information down below for you to check it out. Through my uni because my weighted average mark which is like my overall score for uni it was at a distinction level which is 75 plus. I also got a $1,000 scholarship for my exchange so that was really helpful as well if you are going on exchange definitely choose a place that one has lots of other things to do there was like other places like Leeds where I could have gone to but I feel like Leeds doesn't have as many things to do compared to London whereas London there's more things to explore so London was a really good place to do exchange I think there was like Singapore and like all those other countries which would have been so cool as well but I'm really glad that I chose London because it was just easy because I spoke English and I've always wanted to go there and King's College London was such a cool place to study at because it is a pretty reputable school and it's ranked really highly amongst all the universities in the world so it's really cool to say that I have studied there. The buildings were all old and old-timey and the cafeteria reminded me of Hogwarts. There was like a church that reminded me of Hogwarts as well. It was just really 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 cool. If this video hasn't convinced you enough to go on exchange I don't know what else to tell you but just do it. You're only young once, literally YOLO just go ahead and experience life because you'll never get back this time and that is my motto for life because life is short and you never know what's going to happen in the future you know obviously you want to plan for the future but the future is not guaranteed so if you want to do something go ahead and do it and you will not be sorry and you will not regret that you've done it so i hope this video convinced you and yeah i hope you enjoyed my ramblings about my student exchange experience and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!